Although the Nissan Leaf isn't as cool as a Tesla and doesn't have the most recent F technology, it has been on the road for a long time and is an affordable and useful option for people who want to drive a zero emission vehicle. Even though it had a strange appearance and a limited driving range, it was quietly displaying its kilowatts on the streets before any Tesla did. It demonstrated that people were interested in electric vehicles. With more conventional styling and a longer range, the second generation LEAF has matured. The 2023 LEAF was updated by Nissan with a new front end and fewer trim levels. The revised grille, front bumper, and headlights with their darker housings will probably require you to squint your eyes. However, at night, the illuminated Nissan badge on the grille is easier to see. There are currently only two LEAF models available, the LEAF SV Plus, which is available with a larger battery pack and a longer driving range, and the base LEAF S, which has a smaller battery pack and a shorter range. Are you interested in learning how the Nissan LEAF performed after we drove one for a year? Check out our long-term road test of the 2018 Nissan LEAF. We appreciated its dependability and the fact that we didn't have to pay for any upkeep, but there were a few things about it that we didn't like after 9,365 miles. Although several updates have occurred since the 2018 model year, the majority of our observations remain valid. What drives the LEAF? The Nissan LEAF has satisfactory execution for moving for position in rush hour gridlock. The standard LEAF achieved 0 to 60 miles per hour in 7.8 seconds, while the LEAF Plus completed the task in 7 seconds, just a hair slower than the best competitors, such as the Hyundai Kona and Kia Niro EVs. If you turn on the e-pedal mode, which gives you more control and adds a little fun to your daily drive, most routine braking can be handled by easing off the accelerator. The brakes feel smooth. The Nissan LEAF is ridiculously simple to drive, as are the majority of EVs, thanks to its smooth, instantaneous power and complete lack of shifting. Find the LEAF at a discount near you. How is the inside? Any seat has plenty of head and leg room. The cabin of the LEAF isn't very wide, but it feels right for its size. It might be difficult for some drivers to find their ideal position. The driver's seat may not be able to adjust down far enough for pilots who are the tallest because it is mounted a little high. Good visibility is provided by large windows and a relatively low cowl, however, the rear roof pillar is now slightly wider, creating a larger blind spot. Our primary complaint is with the shifter, which has its own user diagram because it is so bizarre. How is technology? The Leaf's touch screen and support for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto smartphone integration are attractive to us. Pro Pilot Assist can be obtained by upgrading to the SV Plus trim level. It adds lane keeping assist functionality and a more advanced adaptive cruise control system to create a driver assistance system that makes freeway driving easier. How is storage going? The LEAF offers a great measure of freight space when the seats are being used. However, due to the seat's inability to fold flat, reaching maximum capacity is difficult. Upfront storage for small items might also be preferable. The glove compartment is average in size, and the box in the center console is small. The Leaf has doors that open wide and a roofline that is almost horizontal, making it easy to get in and out of for kids who are strapped in. Installing rear-facing seats is made easier by the ample back seat space. The three tether anchors at the top are simple to use, 
but the ones at the bottom of the car seat are a little bit buried in the seat cushions. Which leaf is suggested? The base leaf S comes at an appealing cost, yet its short driving reach probably won't be enough for some drivers. Nissan Leaf models the compact electric hatchback Nissan Leaf of 2023 comes in two versions, the SV Plus and the Base S. The EPA estimates that the Leaf S's 40 kWh battery pack has a range of 149 miles.